What up, what up, what up? This is Star of Stars and Empress Wisdom. How you doing, Capricorns? What's good? Today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the next seven days for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning to my channel, mm -hmm, lots of love and hugs and kisses. Hope y'all doing well. Um, thank you so much uh, for the love, support, like, share, subscribes. I really appreciate that. I love y'all so freaking much. Um, Alright, so sorry about that. <laughs> if you, um, if this resonates, awesome. Please like, share, subscribe, and thank you. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon rising Venus signs. Um, if you listen to those, it may resonate a little better, like, you know, overall. Um, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but if you have a lot of Cap in your chart, you know, then this should resonate with you. Take what does resonate, always. Leave the rest to the birds, always, all right? So, um, if you would like a more personal reading, that would actually be personal for you. Um, that information is in the description below, you know? So, let's go ahead and get started, though. What was going on in the recent past in love for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And this could be regarding a soulmate, twin flame, someone from your soul tribe. doesn't matter. Anyone that you're thinking about in love. So here we have the Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys dropped attention, um, getting a lot of attention from everyone to juggling between two, possibly, possibly work and um, a relationship, a new relationship for some. Oh, all right. So we have the emperor could be dealing with a Aries or Taurus, um, or this could be you being a boss. All right. Some of you guys may have had to... Um, some of you, it's a father figure or you guys are a father. So some of you guys were uh, were balancing um, like being a father and dating possibly. Um, some of you guys may have had to surrender to a situation uh, as far as being a father. Um, so if that's like you know if you guys were in like a, a custody battle or something like that, I feel like you guys had to, su to surrender to the situation and allow um, the universe to come in and you know fix things yeah definitely see some conflict here but some of you guys um you could be a father you could be dealing with your father or some of you guys could be dealing with the aries um or libra gemini aquarius okay i definitely feel like you in the recent past um had to release a burdensome ass situation could have been involving a leo aries sag but i definitely feel like you guys had a lot of burdens a lot of responsibilities a lot of people possibly fighting for your attention affection all that good stuff um and i feel like you needed to release that some of you guys want to start a business or was uh, was focused on starting a business in the recent past so that you could be an emperor you know the boss you know um it could be you could be a divine masculine or could be dealing with your divine masculine um if you know you believe in twin flames and all that cutesy stuff um and I know that some people are like, Twin Flames is not cute, blah, 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 but whatever, you know, it is to me, okay? So, <laughs> the Two of Pentacles. Why was it here in the recent past for Capricorn? All right, so, ooh, so you may have been um, juggling because you were not making a decision or someone may wasn't making a decision towards you. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um... But I feel like you may have left a person, your partner, feeling confused or, you know, whoever was around you feeling confused. Maybe you were about to trying to wait and uh, balance. Like I said, some of you guys were trying to balance um, family and a new relationship. Some of you guys were trying to balance um, a new creative endeavor and work. OK, so like a job. But I do believe you guys got some good news from a, Le you know, possibly from Leo Aries Sag, or you guys just got some news in the recent past, and that's because you guys were in limbo, and I feel like you were waiting for some news in order to make a decision. Um, yep, it could have been news about work, it could have been news about material wealth, so some of you guys could have been waiting to make a decision towards someone um, until some money came in. Yeah, so some of you guys, like I said, could be dealing with the Aries Sag, Leo doesn't have to be. Um, definitely getting Aries here for some, but I feel like this could be you, Capricorn. You guys are be were being more ambitious, determined, and following your passions, and you know, um, 
what you wanted to be successful at. So if that was starting a new business and whatever, um, going into business for yourself, I definitely feel like that is what you started to focus on in the recent past. But you may have needed to, um, maybe some of you guys needed to balance out like working a nine to five and also starting a new business situation. Maybe also um, joining with friends, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe some of you guys had to balance friends and um, a new business endeavor, okay? So if it's not a new relationship, you guys may just have had a lot of friends that were like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, hitting you up for the holidays, want you here, there, and everywhere, want a lot of your attention, time, could be family, friends, whoever. But um, I feel like you are focused on being the emperor at this point in time so that you can, you know, going after the things, your dreams, your dreams, passions, ambitions. Um, yeah, it says it's not a good move for you to, uh, fo you know, maybe there was friends around that was trying to get you to, oh, let's go out and party, let's go out and do this, blah, 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 um, or whatnot, and it was not it was not a good move. It was a good move for you to focus on yourself and your own, um, what you want to um, grow as far as, like, your dreams, okay? Some of you guys, it wouldn't have been a good move to uh, make a move or be friendly with a Libra Gemini Aquarius, you know, for some of y'all. Some of you guys, um, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, because I'm, I'm getting multiple stories for you guys. Yeah, so some of you guys may have to, may have had to, um, release a friendship, okay, but that's just for some of you guys, could have been with the Libra Gemini Aquarius, or you could have had to release friends, um, like friends that, people that were friends with your ex, in order for you, because it may have been, like, uh, conflicting, like, you, or you may have had to stop talking to family that was talking, dealing with your ex or whatever, because you were not starting over. Somebody, um, you or somebody else was not starting over. You guys weren't starting over with someone, but maybe you guys had friends, um, that were, you know, the same friends or whatever, like, your ex, you and your ex got friends, mutual friends, um, or family, you know, could know your ex and they could, you know, have been trying to keep you in this state of holding on and trying to balance everything, okay? So, like I said, some of you guys are fathers, so you could have, you could be trying to balance working things out, you know, like family could have been like, oh, work things out with your baby mama, blah, 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 so that things are more balanced as far as you being a father. But you may have wanted to put, you know, you may be passionate towards someone else and also putting a uh, focus into yourself at this time, okay? Um, so, because you didn't want to start over possibly with an ex or something like that. That's for some of you guys. Others of you, um, you were just left waiting around discontent instead of making a move towards your goals, dreams, and what you and who you are passionate for. But let's see. So, obviously, that's why there was some conflict. Yep, because you may have been being cold and calculating or you felt like somebody was being cold and calculating towards you. Um, yep, and so you drop the baggage. <laughs> the Ten of Wands, dropping the baggage. So, in the recent past, you may have had to drop, um, just situations that no longer served you. Dropped, uh, you know, you may have been trying to balance and juggle, and it, it just left you basically stagnant and not making a move towards anything. But, um, I feel like you are making small steps towards your goals, dreams, ambitions, and, um, but there could be, you know, someone, there could be, it could be you having to be cold to, you know, cut off people or something like that because there was conflict. Some of you guys could have had to cut off a third party situation and that could have, you know, and yeah, dry, and drop the baggage. Yeah. Cause you guys were juggling love and balancing, um, try, just trying to play the balancing act game and it just wasn't working. You guys could have been juggling friends, work, uh, a new lover, um, a new endeavor it's just too much you know what i'm saying so you guys had to drop the baggage in order to um get some clarity some of you guys had to get mental clarity about a libra jo a libra job a job maybe a libra gemini or aquarius some of you guys had to gain some clarity some of you guys had to um are focused on your talents at this time like your own gifts like i said so some of you guys um have some like some type of talent painter um a writer, something like that, but I feel like you guys want to go into business for yourselves, okay? That's definitely what I'm getting. You guys may have had to release a karmic partner, a toxic relationship, yep, for a new offer. Um, yep, but 
this could be your ex that was be that had you cold, unbalanced, and unstable. Um, or you could have been being cold towards a new offer because you weren't you had a lot going on, Capricorn. That's what I see. I feel like you guys had a lot going on. There's some fighting, there's some uh could be some father um not issues, but just like some of you guys could be a father dealing with uh an ex that and you're fighting for custody or something like that or whatever the case may be, you know. But some of you guys were lacking financially or your person was. But you guys are healing from depression in the recent past here. So that is awesome, okay? And also, it ended with the Ten of Wands in the recent past. So you guys definitely dropped a lot of uh, drama. A lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of uh, just... I feel like it was things you were passionate about at one time. But now, you know, may, that cycle is ended. And now you have new passions, new endeavors, and you are elevating Capricorn. So you had to release what no longer serves you in order to move forward. And I feel like that's what you did. So that's awesome. So you can stop playing this balancing act. Look at that. So that you can get your two of cups. Okay? Because there, uh, there is a true spiritual deep spiritual bond could be a twin flame or whatever it could be a, just a deep spiritual bond that you have with someone and it's mutual between the two of you i feel like it okay 11 11 i just saw guys it could be your twin so you guys could be trying to you know reunite with your twin or you know yeah reunite with your twin or have a, a reunion with your twin and you may have had to release baggage from the past in order to do that okay so, and that could be people, exes, friends, you know what I'm saying? So, let's see what you guys have coming in in the next seven days for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. All right, so we have the magician. Definitely could be dealing with the Aries. Um, don't have to be though. Leo Aries Sag, like I said, definitely could be Aries. But some of you guys are man are trying to manifest um, and some type of passion, something that you're passionate for. I feel like you guys are manifesting, and it is you're going to be successful at it. Is what I'm hearing. But there is going to be some conflict here, possibly uh, with the Libra Gemini Aquarius. Or Leo Aries said. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. So you could be dealing with the Pisces or you may have to use your intuition. Okay. So some of you guys may be still feeling discontent and stuck. Um, but there is a divine offer here. Okay. There may be, like I said, other offers that don't suit you any longer. But there is a divine offer here. So some of you guys... Um, Maybe rejecting that. Yeah, because look. Okay. So you guys have a divine offer coming in, but somebody may be avoiding an ending. Okay? Somebody may be trying to avoid an ending. Could be with the Scorpio. Um, yeah. I'm definitely getting that some of you guys could be um, avoiding an ending, possibly. But this ending is going to bring, you know, this ending is going to bring about the new you know what i'm saying like things have to die to be reborn so um yeah you guys may still just be feeling discontent and stuck uh in the next seven days but let's see let's get some clarity the magician card why is the magician here okay so you may be lying to aries or um some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys may be lying. Yeah, some of you guys may be lying because you are trying to avoid choosing a path and, cho and making a final decision. Yeah, waiting to take action. Yeah, some of you guys are lying because y'all don't want to take action yet because you don't want to end something um, from the past or you don't want to just let it end. It's already ended though, you know? But it says your hard work will pay off. So let me get one more. Because. Line and why. Let's see. Ooh, could be. Um, could be involving a Gemini. So, but your prayers are answered. So maybe you um, had. Maybe you lied to somebody in the. Uh, or maybe you about to lie to somebody. I don't know. But. Um, 
I definitely feel like you guys may have to, um, somebody could be lying to you. A Gemini could be lying to you about being stable, about their stability. Okay. Or, um, in the, in the next seven days ish here, some of you guys could be dealing, yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody trying to, um, manifest some drama and say that you're lying about some shit just because you have your prayers answered so somebody may try to come around and stir up some shit and be you know and start some drama could be a gemini <clears throat> because they may see you financially stable they see you have your nine of cups you know um you living your best life so somebody could try to manifest some bullshit all right and or somebody could be doing some magic i'm definitely not getting a good feel from that magician over there somebody could be doing some magic in order to cause some chaos because like i said they see that your prayers are answered you have something fulfilling like you know um could be a new relationship but um yeah somebody or somebody is lying to you about how stable they are okay Yep, somebody's lying and it's keeping them up at night. Yep, somebody just wants to start a fight. So, let's see why the King of Wands is here. All right, so follow your dreams. Follow your follow what you are passionate for, okay? So, um if people are trying to, you know, come at you with some bullshit, l love yourself is what this says love yourself you know what you're you know what you desire you know what you want um at this point and it's time for you to love yourself and if you want to marry somebody go ahead and do that okay so um somebody may not want you to move on it could be a group of people that don't want you to move on but it's time it's saying here in the next seven days you're going to be successful uh um, you're going to be the king of wands and i don't feel like this is in and out king of wands i feel like you're just going to be passionate about your goals dreams desires and if if that's an endeavor, I feel like you're going to be passionate towards that and love yourself. And if it's a person, I feel like you need to, you know, be passionate towards that person and and love yourself. You know, by loving yourself is by going after what you want. And if you want somebody or if you have somebody around, then you need to make sure that um, you're, you know, you put an end to that. OK. All right. All right, so um, some of you guys may be wanting to propose, okay? Somebody that you uh, got the hot smile. Could be a Leo Aries Sag. It could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, or you may have to tell somebody, look, I'm marrying this one, because that's what it says, marry this one. So, um, yeah, you're because you'll be stable. You'll be, this is a stable situation between you and whoever this is, Okay. But like I said, in the next seven days, I feel like you guys are working on your financial stability so that you can propose to somebody and um, you guys are loving yourself. You know what I'm saying? You guys are focusing on healing your own uh, issues, finances, um, spirituality, emotional, all that. You guys are stabilizing yourselves and that's loving yourself in the next seven days. But like I said, somebody may be um, somebody may be lying and trying to. Uh, stir up some some drama by being manipulative possibly yeah somebody is waiting for information why is the high priestess here all right so you need you're gonna need to use your intuition about something that's a financial burden okay Yep, something was a financial burden. Okay, so it's the high priestess is looking towards this Leo Aries Sag. And uh, yeah, so you may have to follow your intuition about a Leo Aries Sag. Um, and because they may lead you to find a financial um, burden, okay? Because, yeah, that's what I'm getting for some of you guys. I don't know what that means, but look. All right, but I feel like regardless, you guys are um, stabilizing your money. So you guys are stabilizing your finances at this time in the next seven days. Um, but you may, some of you guys just may feel stuck because there is an ending here. Okay. So it could be a divorce. It could be, um, you could feel stuck with a Scorpio. You could feel stuck, um, because it's, it's just your, it's, things are transforming in your life right now. Things are ending things, you know, things that no longer serve you things. It's just, it's, it's done. So, um, as of right now, you may not want to accept any offers right now because you're just focused on 
restoring your finances fixing your finances and like i said in the next seven days use your intuition follow your intuition and you know stabilize yourself all right yeah that's because it'll help you be emotionally mature and i also feel like the person you're dealing with is emotionally mature as well yep but you may still be feeling discontent or some of you guys could be drinking or smoking because of the burdens that you have uh and you know that are still lingering from the past yeah okay because some of you guys were could have been married in the past and or um you guys have a karmic partner that is difficult that is yeah a mind f somebody who yeah somebody who wants to fuck up your head because you manifested your true desires excuse my french all right Ooh, let me move forward because this ain't even y'all stuff ain't even supposed to be that long capricorn Oh. all right so i'm gonna uh pick a sign and see what sign um you may have conflict with in the next seven days into 2020 as well as a sign that you'll be in harmony with in the next seven days um to 2020 as well as a gift from the universe all right so let's do that so what sign could capricorn have conflict with in the next seven days into 2020 Taurus. All right, so you guys could have some conflict or issues with the Taurus. Let's see why. Why does Capricorn have issues? Oh, about making a choice. Somebody got to make a choice. Yeah. Yep, for a brand new beginning. So either you um, are taking a break from a Taurus or are needing to take a break from a Taurus because you want to um, start. I feel like you guys may be focused on your finances. Um. And it's for a brand new beginning. Yep, but there is some mental confusion here. Because um, somebody is living their best life. But somebody is confused about that. Yeah, a passionate new beginning. So there may be some confusion surrounding a brand new beginning, a passionate new beginning. But you have the Ten of Cups here, okay? So, um, yeah, you're getting out of being stuck. So it's okay to release this this situation from the past but yeah so and you may have some issues with the taurus um some of you guys i'm hearing you guys have taurus in your chart so you could just have an issue um with the fact that you have your ten of cups but other people might not like that you know and are trying to hold on tight to you okay let's see who you'll be in harmony with in the next seven days <laughs> All right, so you guys could have harmony with a Leo, or they could have that in their chart. But let's see why. All right, so you may have a reunion with a Leo. Rebirth of a situation. Somebody may be bored. Could be you or the Leo. But somebody is going to um, restart this situation yeah somebody it could be somebody it could be a family member could be um somebody in your family yeah maybe somebody misses you they feel like they lost you or something like that so um but i feel that you guys are going to be reun uh, reuniting oh okay so it could be three people or it could be a lover strangle situation so a leo could try to come back around to involve you in a third party situation um so yeah but there may be some indecision about that okay hold on let me get one more what okay so some of you guys it's not a third party situation like um these are you know you somebody in love or i feel like this could be three people in your family that um three people in your family that you'll be having a reunion with um or it could be you know your lover's family but yes it is a good it is a good decision it's a passionate move to make towards uh this person and leo um yep because i feel like either you're holding on for dear life to this new connection that you have with someone um or they're holding on for dear life to you but either way somebody is holding on for dear life but you may have to block someone out yep you and the, the divine is trying to help you to block someone out yep block yes yes you might have to block someone out in order to um have harmony you know so you guys could have leo in your chart 
it's a little different than everybody else but yeah you guys may have uh, somebody may come back around see you having a happy family situation or you know complete and happy elsewhere and somebody may try to re-involve you in a lover's triangle situation but um just know that it's you made a passionate move to um to fulfill your dreams okay and that is absolutely a good thing for you to focus on yourself okay um, cause I feel like a lot of you guys have gave love to a lot of other people. A block again. Y'all might have to block somebody. Block a liar. Yes. Y'all gonna have to block somebody to, in order to have a wish come true. I'm gonna stop there though. Um, let's, but let's see who this person could be though. Let's see. Who could be the liar that, uh, Capricorn has to block? All right. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. That could have you, uh, trapped in your head. Yep. Yep, because you're emotionally fulfilled at this time. So somebody could just be trying to come around cause you, and fuck you up because you are happy right now. So Capricorn, be careful. But yeah, have a happy, happy, happy holiday, festive time, whatever the case may be. Till next time. Later, loves.